get into some Lakers news and rumors. And LeBron James, well, looks like he's going to be heading back. Now, this isn't confirmed, 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 but the report was that he probably could have played against the Rockets on Wednesday. And now, with their game against the Indiana Pacers on Saturday night, the expectation is that he will return to the floor. Now, as you Laker fans know, LeBron has missed 26 out of 28 games. Good news is, he practiced earlier this week. No pain in his ankle for a few days now, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, which means King James is expected to return for the Lakers' final two games this upcoming weekend, and then, of course, come playoff time. Now, LeBron, while he hasn't played a full season due to injuries, he's still King James, right? He's still one of the best, if not the best player in basketball. 25 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists in almost 34 minutes per game. And you're probably thinking, well, I feel like he hasn't been as good this year. Well... <laughs> He actually has. Look at what he did last year. The assists are down a little bit this year, but overall, the numbers are pretty identical. 25 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists a year ago, en route to leading L.A. to an NBA championship. Minutes pretty similar as well. LeBron James is coming back just in time for L.A., which means it's time to activate playoff LeBron. It is time to activate playoff LeBron James. Remember Zero Dark 23 or whatever uh, he used to tweet out before uh, before playoffs would start and he wouldn't uh, be on Twitter for two months? Yeah, it's about that time. A couple games left in the regular season. So uh, this is good for the Lakers. You get LeBron back into the fold. AD's been starting to play better. You all of a sudden feel a lot better about where you sit if you are the purple and gold. Now, obviously... They're not going to have the seed that they would have wanted earlier on in the year. But LeBron James, if he's back and if that ankle truly is pain-free, then it was worth dipping down in the standings a little bit, assuming you can get into the first round and start to play some good ball and maybe even uh, make a run back to the NBA Finals. So what do you guys think? Can the Lakers still repeat as champions despite the struggles, despite the injuries down the stretch? Uh, type me if you think they can. If they're fully healthy, they absolutely can repeat as NBA champions. So type me down in the comments if you believe that the Lakers can repeat as NBA champions. Let's talk more injury news with the L.A. Lakers. Dennis Schroeder, is he set to return on Saturday as well? Well, it certainly seems to be the case on this one. He missed the first seven games, uh, or the past seven games for the Lakers as he's been in the NBA's health and safety protocols due to COVID. Uh, unclear if he tested positive or if he was just a close contact. Really hush-hush on that one, so I'm not so sure. But he did post on Instagram saying, I'm back. And uh, that means that looks like he's going to play come Saturday night against the Indiana Pacers, which is a really good thing. Obviously, LeBron's the priority getting him back. But what does all this mean? It means that the Lakers, they're starting to get healthy. And Dennis Schroeder is no, you know, just afterthought of this core, right? 15 and a half points, dishing out six assists a game. He's kind of the one guy that can – run the offense if LeBron is off the court or if LeBron needs to play some off ball. He can be that point guard, that floor general for L.A., which is why it's been so difficult for the Lakers recently. They haven't had a guy who could really hand run the offense because both these guys have been out as of late. So good sign to get Dennis Schroeder back, good sign to get LeBron James back. Here was Dennis Schroeder's Instagram post saying, I'm back. So all indications are that he will play against Indiana on Saturday night before the Lakers wrap up their season on Sunday and then find out what their playoff fate ends up being. But the good news for L.A., better late than never. They are finally getting healthy. Now, are they getting healthy fast enough? Because typically you would like to have a couple of weeks, get some games under your belt. They only have one or two games before a potential play-in tournament slash first-round series, which not the most ideal, but better now than game three in the first round, right? You get Schroeder back, you get LeBron back, you have AD that seems to be in full swing now as well. He had a, he's had a couple of big games as of late. That's kind of your core. LeBron, AD, Schroeder's probably your third guy, and then the depth pieces start to really, you know, fill out that roster, right? Kyle Kuzma doesn't have to do as much. Caruso doesn't, Caruso doesn't have to do as much. It's kind of a trickle-down effect. They're getting healthy, and they're getting healthy at the exact right time. If you don't like this video, then you don't like NBA basketball. Give us a like, baby. If you don't know who I'm Im uh, imitating, then uh, you just don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The Kings broadcaster, he gets fired up. If you don't like this video, then you don't like NBA basketball.
Give us a thumbs up if you love the NBA. Welcome into NBA Now. We've got some jerseys available for you guys at chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. Wanted to tell you guys about these deals before we go ahead and get into the latest around or on today's show. Chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. We got Steph, LeBron, Tatum, Luka, all kinds of different jerseys available just for you guys. Man, look at the Mavericks little uh, uh, alternate greens there. Those jerseys and a whole lot more are available for just about 100 bucks. Get a LaMelo Ball jersey, chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. That link is in the comments. It is also in the description. D don't miss out on this deal, chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. Let's talk playoff picture for the Los Angeles Lakers. Are they going to avoid the play-in tournament? They have a couple games left on Saturday and on Sunday at Indiana, at New Orleans, two teams that the Lakers should be able to take care of business against. Now, L.A. still sitting a half game back of Portland, uh, who's currently the sixth seed, and a full game back of the Mavericks, who are currently the fifth seed. We'll talk those scenarios with those three teams later on in just a couple of moments, but let's just kind of see where everything sits in the Western Conference with just a couple of games to go across the board. Jazz, 50 and 20. Suns, 49 and 21. Those are going to be your top two seeds in a certain order. Three and four could fluctuate. Clippers and Nuggets on that one. And then it starts to get interesting. So you got Dallas at 41 and 29. Uh, they are a half game up of Portland, who is at 41 and 30. And then the Lakers are at 40 and 30. Eight through 10 are uh, set in a certain order. The Spurs are locked in at the 10 seed. Eight and nine with Golden State and Memphis. Uh, that could fluctuate, obviously. They play each other on the final game of the season. But the Lakers are trying to avoid the play-in tournament. And to avoid the play-in tournament, you got to be in the top six. It's going to be hard. The path to get there is not very easy for the Los Angeles Lakers because they have to win out and then they have to get some help from the Mavericks and or the Trailblazers as well. That's what has to happen for the purple and gold. So here are the scenarios. Number one, the Lakers must win their last two games. That's non-negotiable because they don't have the tiebreakers over Portland or Dallas, uh, which means they got to beat Indiana, they got to beat the Pelicans. They also need one of the following two to at least get up to the sixth seed. They need the Blazers to lose to Denver in their last game, or they need the Mavs to lose their final two games against Toronto and Minnesota. That second piece seems unlikely. It's pretty good chance Mavs are at least winning one of those games. Toronto and Minnesota are trying to lose at this point. So, really, you got to win out, and you need Portland to lose their final game against the Nuggets, which the Nuggets may not have anything to play for, depending on what happens with their game and the Clippers game uh, this upcoming evening. So... Here's the scenario. If the Lakers are in the play-in tournament, this is the format. They'll be the seven seed, and they'll play either Golden State or Memphis. One of those teams will be the eight seed. And then if they win, they move on. They get to be the seven seed of the playoffs. If they lose, they play the winner of the nine and ten seed for the final playoff spot. So there is actually a chance that the Lakers could still miss the playoffs. Do I think it's going to happen? No, but chances are they're going to be in that play-in tournament, and that is, you know, it's a little dicey considering uh, you're a defending NBA champion. You do not want to be in that if you can avoid it, but clock's ticking. That's, uh, that's what happens when you have injuries. So predict it for me. What seed will the Lakers get? Will they get the number five seed, the number six seed, or the number seven seed? It can only be one of those three. So let me know what you think. I think it's going to be the seventh seed. I, I I wouldn't trust the Mavs to lose to two bad teams, and I think Portland's going to come out and play well against Denver. So I'm going to type seven, but maybe they'll sneak up and get the sixth seed. 